But it's been 27 days Don't know what to say I'm kind of feeling dazed And I sort of feel betrayed Don't know what to say Slow down, slow down I'm trying to understand you You reminded me of your mama When she was The reason the band was called The Fiction is because um, Josh really just kind of wanted it to be him and Chris Jackson as the mainstays of the band. Um, and then the fiction was that it was this rotating set of musicians because Josh had just, um, you know, through his many years of playing music, knew so many great musicians and didn't kind of want to have just one set band. He wanted to play with all of them. Um, so that was like the fiction, was this fictional band kind of. Um, but the project for him really, I think, was about... Um, he really wanted to like, you know, I know this is like kind of a cheesy word, but like evolve past his past band, the, the band he was in before his bargain music. And he loved that project, but he had just grown and changed a lot musically um, over the years from that. Um, and I think this was just like him busting out and really doing more of where he was at at that point in his life rather than playing the stuff he'd been playing for years that people knew him for. Started as just like doing demos in an apartment I lived in, like about 10 years ago, and then um, after we got the demos done, years later we started bringing in, you know, drums and horns and guitar players and bass players. We got to experiment a lot, definitely, and try out lots of crazy weird ideas. Like, I mean, as far as miking techniques, we tried a thing, we didn't use it at all, but we tried a thing where you put like a microphone in a plastic bag and then put that in a glass of ice water and then record through the glass on the side for like a weird filtering effect. It um, it didn't actually sound good, so we didn't use that, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we tried a bunch of stuff like that. promises I made to him you know one of the final promises I made to him was to get it out there because I knew it was important to him a lot of love and energy went into it um, a whole lot of time I mean I don't know how many thousand hours were spent in the studio over 10 years Josh was could be very particular which is one of the reasons he did a lot of cool stuff but it also would sometimes take longer so he could not pick a font like he couldn't pick a font that was like the last thing they had all these cool photos taken everything for the artwork for the album and it was all about the font so um, so then, like, so then Chris and I were tasked with this, like, oh my god, we have to pick a font, like, and then it felt like a lot of pressure because he had gone through so many people and fonts were like, we're never gonna pick the right thing, you know what I mean? Um, so one of my my good friends and and Josh's good friends for many years, Corey Watson, uh, is a graphic designer who is who has worked on um, uh, Josh's food and musical music festival that he left behind. Music tastes good. He's done all the graphic design for that. Um, so I talked to him about um, helping out with it. And he thought of the brilliant idea. He said, you know, if you can get me sample uh, a handwriting from Josh, I can just make his handwriting the font. So it's literally just his handwriting. It's, it's, um, and I thought that was like the most brilliant solution. And Chris was super on board and loved it too. So, so yeah, I, I think that couldn't be more perfect after feeling very pressured and worried about getting it right. It's such, it's such a relief to me to have it done. It was, it's like definitely something that has been weighing heavy on me since Josh died because I just wanted to do this for him so badly. Um, so I think there's going to be like a lot of joy and relief when it's over, but then in this other weird way, it's kind of like losing another piece of him, like it's because it's done, like it's like this is done. And this is kind of a way of keeping him going, you know, working on this. So I think there's going to be this other little layer of loss that comes with it. My hope is that like, my hope is that people just really take take the album in, really sit with it and listen to it. I'm obviously super biased, but um, in other words, like I want people to just love, listen, listen to it and love it for the music and not even just like, cause Josh is gone now. You know, I hope they really appreciate the music um, cause it's really good, like it's really good stuff and it's exciting stuff.